In every era, there have been men who sought the golden dream, men who have always believed that just over the next hill lies the claim that will make them rich. These space prospectors rushed to Mars when priceless capillite was discovered, and many of them died of exposure and starvation. They rushed to Venus when the first gusher of gamma oil came in. Hundreds of them died or were lost in the rings of Jupiter when the fabulous gas strike was made there. And after them, like stealthy jackals feeding on carrion, came the space pirates and the claim jumpers, evil men, robbers and cutthroats, the outlaws of the universe. GBI headquarters, Earth calling all patrols. GBI headquarters, Earth calling all patrols. This is a warning. Repeat, this is a warning. Space pirates are at large in galaxy, piloting black ship heavily armed. Will attack without warning. Last seen cruising an area of Persis and Origa. We've seen notify nearest GBI patrol ship at once. Notify nearest GBI patrol ship. <laughs> That's quite a joke. They're closing in on us, Fred. Well, so what? We can outrun and outgun anything the GBI's got. Yeah, sure. Okay, where to now? The planet Cranus. We've got a fuel supply hidden there. After that, we'll take off for our secret planetoid base. After all, we've got a lot of treasure loot to hide. Shades of Saturn, I'm sick and tired of this death work. Missing people, missing jewels, lost spaceships. Find them. Find them. And what are you grinning at like a baboon? Do you think it's funny to be sitting here like the hub in a wheel responsible for every intergalaxy crime and tragedy? No, Dr. Zarko. Well, it is, if you'll forgive my saying so, a bit amusing to watch you boil over every 15 minutes and then go back to work. I see what you mean. Well, I guess I can stand being tied to this desk for a few more days until the Galaxy Council gets around to appointing a new commissioner for the Galaxy Bureau of Investigation. Oh, by the way, Alan, you'd better send out that space pirate warning again. I want all patrols kept on the alert. Yes, sir. GBI headquarters, Earth calling all patrols. This is a warning. Repeat, this is a warning. Space pirates are at large in Galaxy, piloting black ship heavily armed. This is the asteroid Myos, a tiny, desolate planet, barren and airless, a place where life can be supported only by incredible bravery and terrible privation. GBI headquarters, Earth calling all patrols. GBI headquarters, Earth calling all patrols. This is a warning. Repeat, this is a warning. Space pirates are at large in galaxy, piloting black ship heavily armed. Will attack without warning. Last seen cruising an area of Persis and Origa. Father! Murray, I found it. Father, what have you found? This. Look at it. Feel it. What is it? Algonel. Pure algonel. The whole vein of it. We are rich. Do you understand? We've struck it rich. Oh, Father. I'm so glad, so happy for you. After all these years. After all the disappointments you had. They laughed at me when I said I would try on my they laughed at me, Murray. Remember? But I knew it was here. I knew it had to be here. And you were right, Father. Of course I was right. I was sure when I got back to Earth, Murray. They won't laugh at me anymore. Why? I'll be the richest man of the galaxy. And do you know what I'm going to do for you, my dear? What, Father? I'm going to fit you out like a queen. Counts from Mars. You can buy a hundred of them. Jewelry from Venus. I will buy you a bushel of it. Your own space run about. The fluid overdrive custom made. Oh, then it'll be so good to get back to Earth. We have been alone in so many places so long. I know, I know. You've missed a lot out of life. 
taking care of your old father like this. A pretty young girl like you should be going to parties, meeting young men, getting married one day, perhaps. What young man would look at me now? You wait and see. You will be the greatest catch this side of Saturn. Wait till the galaxy hears about this strike. A flash cruises through space, hunting the space pirates. Week after week on assignment from the GBI, it has tried to locate the evasive shadow, the black pirate ship. Ah, it's no use, Flash. We've looked for weeks and weeks, and what have we found? Nothing. You say that again. <laughs> We're all getting sail down. It's been a long sail. You don't have to tell us that, Casey. You know, if I didn't know better, I'd think these space pirates are just a rumor. Well, they're around somewhere, Dale. They jumped a claim on Persis, then they moved in and robbed the National Bank on Auriga. I know. And they hijacked three space cargo ships. But where are they? Where's their secret base? And where do they hide their loot? Now, those are questions the whole galaxy would like answered. Find a tribe coming up. Get me a locate, will you, Dale? It's uh, Cranius. Cranius. That's a new one on me. Well, it's not a very homey place. It's barren, nobody lives there, and it's alive with plutonium emanations. It won't sustain life for more than four or five hours. Hey, Dale. What is it? Look. Well, there's a spaceship down there, lying in a crawl. Take a good look, Dale. Look at the color, the shape. It's a parachute, isn't it? Yeah, no doubt about it. Look out, Flash, don't cry. Don't cry, don't cry. What are you doing? I don't want them to see us. We're moving under cover of darkness. You think Cranius is their headquarters? No, they wouldn't pick a place like this. Then what's your plan? Our orders are to locate the real hideout of the pirates, find out where they've hidden the loot. And they're going to lead us to it themselves. But how, Flash? Dr. Zarkoff perfected this just before we took off. And this is the answer to our whole problem. What is it? It's an electromagnetic buzzer, kind of an automatic bloodhound. If I can get to the pirate ship and attach this to the tail, It'll send directional signals back to us. Maybe lead us to the real hideout planet of the pirates. Flash, you mean you're going to run the danger of trying to get to the pirate ship? That's exactly what I mean. Through the dark, the sky flash noses down toward Cranius. Well, Flash, before you open the airlock, let me take a plutonium radiation reading, will you? Okay, Dale. Almost maximum flash. Well, we can't stay out there too long, even with our radiation resistant spacesuits. You stay here, Dale. No sense in having us both take a chance on radiation poisoning. No, I'm coming with you. May need some help. Sorry, no. This is a one man job. But I can cover for you in case the power. I'll be watching for them. I'm not back in half an hour. Contact Dr. Zakoff. Close the hatch. Keep out the radiation. All right.
Ah, here he comes now, and looking very pleased with himself. Flash! 